Hi everyone, I hope that you enjoyed I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings that we did in the last unit. And now we're looking at Educated. Um, it's fascinating to me that um, Maya Angelou's story took place in a number of different locations, but primarily Arkansas, um, down south in the 19s, um, it was written in the 1960s, but obviously it takes place before then, right? So during segregation, before the civil rights movement. And yet, um, Tara Westover's book, which is set in Idaho <laughs> um, in the 90s and 2000s, um, and involves a girl who is from a white family who is um, Mormon, that these two women have so much in common and it's why i paired the books together i think their stories are different but they have so many similarities so look for some of those similarities the idea of gender oppression um the idea of um isolation the theme of education as being one way to overcome your circumstances all of those are going to be found in this book and poverty as well and trauma um not the same kind that we saw in the last book but of a different type that i talk about in my lectures one of the other things i'd like you to think about is that unlike Maya angelo's book where she's writing about things that happened <clears throat> sorry several years before the time of her writing tara westover is talking about her life really up until the time that she wrote this book. So um, she's not that long out of college, and it's kind of interesting, I think, to read the book and then make sure that I put it as recommended, but I highly, highly recommend that you watch her talking about it because she's talking about the book a year after it was published, which is probably a year or two after she wrote it, because typically it takes a little while to write a book for, for most people. And then you go through a process of submitting it to agents, and then they submit it to publishers, and then it gets published, right? So she has a little bit different perspective, or at least explains some of the incidents in the book, I think with a better idea of really what happened to her so I don't know if we fully get that like complete perspective in the book of what she went through what she endured and how she overcame it as much as we do the talk which is of course after she's been talking about this book for like a year or a year and a half so um yeah it's a really fascinating book and some of the stuff you're like I cannot believe that this is how this person grew up in and it was not that long ago um it's just astounding to me. Some of the things she doesn't know um, when she goes to college and some of the things that her parents teach her. Um, I think the essay prompt, one of the essay prompts is about this book and it asks that. So look for not just her education when she goes to college, but also how she's educated in different ways by her parents, positive or negative. There are things that she learns from her mom, who's a midwife. There are things that she learns from her father about survivalism, but there are also negative things that she takes with her about body image, about um, gender roles, and all of those things. So how it, does she have power maybe in the beginning of the novel or not, memoir or not? And then how is she empowered um, later on? And how does she struggle with her past and try to overcome it? So those are the things I'd like you to look for. It's a great memoir. I really recommend that you watch the video of her talking. And I look forward to seeing your thoughts. Thanks.